Hey, what's up guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. We're talking about water traps and taking water out of your line. Um, we got Mr. Ron here that left us a question. Hey, my friend, hope this question is not redundant for you as you may address it many times. Dollar for dollar, what is a very good water eliminator for air for compressed air? I've tried the small $100 inline units, but not happy with the results. I see refrigerant units and I saw one today from Air Options Incorporated JT20 that does not use refrigerant. I have a five horsepower two stage, hoping to solve my moisture problem. Three to five hundred bucks, thank you. Well, you know, to be honest, I never really had a huge moisture issue. Uh, I don't know how much moisture you're dealing with. Um, if, are you in like a, a very cold environment, or where you where you got like your compressor on all the time and you're just making that much condensation? I'm not sure, but I'll just tell you what I use. I use a simple Ingersoll Rand um, filter. Just, it looks just like this. I think mine is a bigger version. I paid about 100 bucks for mine. Um, and this is all I use. It's a half inch in and out, and my, my water gets filled up in here, and I just squeeze it out. Uh, it just you know comes right out the bottom here. Every time I use my compressor, I make sure it's empty. Uh, before a paint job sometimes in between a paint job i'll have to empty it out you know it'll fill up like maybe halfway and then i'll empty it out uh, this usually you set it about um so say your compressor is over here right like 10 feet away or whatever usually around 10 to 15 feet away you would set your, this up with your air compressor hose coming out to here Okay, about 15 feet or so. And then you can come out and then basically have your roll of uh, your line. And then at the neck of my spray gun, okay, I always put one of these suckers on here. Where, where am I looking at? Right here, an inline water filter. So this goes literally at the neck, at the bottom of your spray gun. So it goes right over here. So if we click on this spray gun here, um, and we maybe we'll open up this picture here. It's a big picture here, right? It, it goes right at the bottom. I'm sure you've seen me use this on my guns here. Okay, that's like a extra last insurance to take out the moisture coming in uh, from your, to your gun here, and they work awesome. And I always have one on my gun. They usually last around you know eight to ten paint jobs. I'll change one out, but if you're doing a bunch of touch ups, they'll last a while as well. You know. Uh, so that's the system that I use. All right. I got an English. So they also have the, the, uh, oiler. You don't want to use an oiler or anything like that. Um, but there's the double system like this, which basically is like a filter and oiler, which you're not going to need. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if we look at water salt, uh, water trap, there's a bunch of different kinds that you can use. So here's a, uh, filter and lubricant you don't need that i would just look into one of these i mean i'm not sure which one you got they have bigger versions and then they got the ones with uh that are really large with a big filter in it and i mean you could even make yourself a diy water trap like this with your lines so the water just gets you know trapped over here and you could drain the pipes out you know i'm not sure exactly uh look at what this guy did he came off coming through here this is like a radiator and he comes down he has his water trap here that's interesting water trap there and then he comes out for his air homemade air compressor condenser water trap that's interesting so i mean there's many ways to do it all i do is run out my mine actually comes out from the side this is pretty interesting. Mine comes out from the side, like around here. Okay. I have a little loop, a line, okay, that I actually should have a drain here, but I don't. So my line comes out like this. And then I have my trap. And then comes out, and then I have my roll of hose. And I've never had an issue. But I should have a drain here. But it is what it is. Um, that's pretty much it. All right. Hopefully this gives you some ideas uh, and uh, 
And yeah, you know, don't forget to always have this is this is mine right here. This is actually this is my setup right here. Found it. Okay, this is my setup in my garage. Drop shipping business. I can't believe this. They took my image. Let's see what pulls up here. That is freaking crazy. It's not pulling up. But if we search here, air compressor, I'm sure we'll see a blog post. Just go to Learn Auto Body Man. Search my blog post and you'll see my setup at home. It's got to be on one of these pages. We have hundreds of articles. Yeah, this is probably it right here. It's in these videos. It's in this this blog post here. Okay, so this is my setup here. I'll actually throw a link. Uh, to this video as well. For you, this post. Alright guys, so hopefully uh, this helps. There's a lot of information on this page um, on my setup here. Okay, and uh, let's see if this pulled up. <laughs> so they basically stole my image. This is my image. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, don't forget to put one of these little red cherry filters uh, on on your gun as well. Okay. Hopefully that helps, guys. Hopefully this uh, gives you some ideas. All right, I don't think you really need to spend three thousand five hundred bucks. You could probably, you get the right unit for a hundred bucks, you can cure the problem. All right, talk to you soon, Ron. Hopefully this helps. If you guys are new to the channel, click up here to get a free eighty-five page auto body manual. If you are on uh, mobile, and if you're on desktop, click down below in the description for more links. Uh, to more videos and also a uh, way for you to get a free 85 page auto body manual that looks like this. It's interactive. There's links to other videos and everything in between. Talk to you soon, guys. Thank you so much.